is Boeing seriously considering to cancel the NMA in favor of a 767-400 re-engined version? What is really happening? Why is Boeing even studying this possibility? What are they reacting to? What are their future plans? You want answers to these questions? Stay tuned, because you will get them, and even more. Since the grounding of the 737 MAX in May of 2019, Boeing has been under tremendous pressure. And even before that, but it was not so visible. They managed to conceal it, although those paying attention would have noticed certain things. Like I mentioned in my previous video, when Airbus decided to build the A330neo, Boeing reacted very aggressively. And today we see that Boeing is not just struggling with the 737 MAX, but also with the 787 still, with new issues appearing, and with the 777X development, where, for example, the engines are not ready. Because, yeah, also those engines have problems, like so many engines at this moment. I believe it has never been this bad when it comes to engines, but that's for another video. But what you see is that Boeing is really stuck. Boeing was pushed by Airbus to develop the 737 MAX, while they originally wanted to postpone this and actually not even develop it, but simply develop a brand new aircraft to replace the 737, a clean sheet design. But they had to wait because technology was not sufficiently improved to build a brand new aircraft that would really compete with the A330neo. Even the Comac C919 and the Irkut MC21 are simply competing with the A321neo. They're not like really gonna kill it. And not just only because they're made in Russia and China. No, no, because the A321neo is really a good aircraft. And so Boeing had to react quickly. Boeing is now in a situation what they wanted to avoid originally, but got squeezed into. And it's not just when it comes to the 737, it's also when it comes to the Embraer acquisition and of course the NMA. So originally Boeing started talking about the NMA because they thought there was a real market for it. And they developed the 737 MAX as a response to the A320neo. But then problems started. And now Boeing is losing a lot of money. And they're really wondering if they're ever going to get the 737 MAX really back on track. So they're seriously thinking about, okay, let's just do it and start developing this brand new aircraft, but that means that we cannot develop a brand new middle of the market at the same time. So priorities, and priorities are simple. 160 to 240 passenger market is the most lucrative. This means that it gets the highest priority. So middle of the market, okay. What is Airbus doing? Ah, oh, they're gently re-engined. The A330, well, why don't we re-engine our 767? Mainly the 300 from the 330 is working. Okay, let's do the 767-400. Oppa, done. Um, yeah, the 757 is not being replaced. Well, we cannot revive that line. It has been closed since 2004. That's already 15 years. And Airbus is already producing and delivering and people are buying it and people love it so let's take our losses there and just develop a brand new replacement for the 737 that will probably also be one that 
covers the A3 the A321 Neo XLR and maybe even a little bit more. Basically, a replacement for the 737 Max 8 up to the 757 300. A real anime, but also real single aisle market aircraft because now with the Embraer they're covering the bottom part of what the 737-700 was so basically they're doing what Airbus has been doing for a while now and they will hope to really slam Airbus in the face I'm trying not to make this all about the 737 and the A220 market but it's really it's really influencing. The NMA market is not big enough to outweigh the development of a brand new replacement of the 737. There's a reason that the Chinese and the Russians have done it. There's a reason that Airbus decided to re-engine the aircraft. So Boeing tried it, failed, because then they haven't been selling as much as Airbus and they haven't been able to deliver a good airplane for the 220-240 passengers with the right range because the A321 Neo XLR is simply kicking it. It's even much better than the 757-200. So Boeing has to react now and not just respond but actually take the lead and develop a brand new aircraft. And if you look at the NMA and the 737, which ones would they sell more? Well, if they build a replacement with the 737, they will probably catch easily 5,000 to 7,000 orders where the NMA they would catch a thousand so that's for later if still needed so Boeing is in a difficult situation they are reevaluating what they're gonna do do they want to really force it with the 737 or will they just start from a good clean sheet and yeah cover maybe a slightly different segment of the market maybe using the e-jet to cover the bottom part of the what the 737 is doing now but that's a yeah that's a discussion for another video because looking at what Airbus has now what Boeing has now it's very interesting to see how they will continue and what they will focus on So I hope this gave you a little bit of clarity. I know it was a lot of data, but that's why I invest a lot of time in creating the data sheets to put them on screen, keep them long enough, and of course you can always pause. So we'll conclude the video here for now. Two more videos are coming. One specifically on the Max. The real reasons why things went the way they went. And one on the total situation in the airline market mainly focusing on Airbus and Boeing to see what changes are coming in the coming five to ten years because I believe a lot will change and will become really interesting so see you in the next video if you dislike the video you do this if you liked it thumbs up share and subscribe also check out my patreon page there you can support me and get access to exclusive content. Get more. Check it out in the link below.